Well, it's the first day in BA. Thousands of students in Broken Arrow heading back to class this morning. And in today's Project Safe Schools, Turks Views Tatiana Taylor got a chance to talk to a teacher who says that Broken Arrow is getting kids back to school safely. And Tatiana joins us now. And uh, this is a teacher that's uh, been in the game for a long time. Tatiana, last time we saw you, you said 40 years she's been teaching. Yes, uh, Travis, good morning. That's right, 40 years, Lisa Dixon tells me. She comes from a long line of teachers, so it's kind of in her blood. And when I asked her about her preparations for the first day of school, she says when the district pushed back the original start date, it gave her loads of time to prepare for the first day. We all want to be here and the kids want to be here. But the only way we're going to stay here is to keep them safe. In her four decades of teaching, Lisa Dixon has one piece of advice for parents right now. Everything will be okay. We'll get through this and not to stress about it. Your kids will come out all right. They're going to be able to go to college. They're going to be successful in life. We're going to get through this. They've spent weeks preparing, she says, training on new technology, new protocols and class etiquette. She says this time around won't be like last spring. It will be better. We're uh, setting up teams online where they they visit and they talk and they make their discussions through their computers and they're set up with teams and their designated assignments and roles for that project. She says submitting work will all be online. Students will learn how to use their Chromebooks, Canvas technology, and more. Also, they are prepared in person and online, no matter what happens. We're incorporating them into our lessons now so that when we, should we, hopefully we won't, but should we go to distance learning, then it will be a seamless transition. But most importantly, Mrs. Dixon says, parents and teachers need to work together to protect students' health and their education. We have to follow those protocols if we want to remain in school. And, um, and I would like for parents to know that there's some personal responsibility with your children too. We can only do so much in the building and in our classrooms. So parents, if you need any more information on uh, the Broken Arrow back to school plan, you can go online at this story at KGRH.com. Live in Broken Arrow, I'm Tatiana Taylor. Two works for you.